I just wanted to do a short video on a quick mod I did on my Technics SLQ2. Uh, it took out the stock power cord that came with it. You know, it's rather thin, old. So I took basically a power cord, which I have about a half a dozen or so laying around uh, due to computer builds and other parts I've bought uh, spare cords. You just cut off the You cut off this end and then you just splice in. Just have to remember uh, it'll have three wires. Um, don't <laughs> use the green one for the ground, which I mistakenly did and had to redo it real quick. But uh, uh, soldering into the two posts for the power on the, bo on the board. And uh, now I have a much better plug in, sticker, shielded much better and also redid the ground wire on there so I was getting humming noise but the problem was I showed another video I fixed my Ortofon head shell by uh, loop wrapping around ground wire on the two ground posts uh, my other head shells are working just fine my Nagioka and my other Ortofon those are just fine they were nice and clean and I put on the soldier head shell it did the same thing I still need to get a new one I had to put some extra weight on top I had to put some sound coat on top to make, put some extra weight because the weight was too much for the head shell and I couldn't get it get a good tracking force on it so Got that working. I got my new uh, stylus on my old Staten L720 cart. Uh, I need to get a new head shell for this because I had to do the wrap around copper wire strand wrap on the uh, green and blue ground post. Sorry for the bad focus there, but. I had to do the same thing that I did to my blue Ortofon head shell. So just a quick video, I'll put the pictures of what I did step by step for the power cord. So enjoy, hope this helps somebody else. Thanks, bye.